Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay, 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 okay. Let's go. Clockwork Phoenix. Um, you guys probably will have seen the video of the introduction to the constructors. You guys are familiar with some of the concepts, or even maybe you guys will see how I got this to begin with. This beautiful story of a phoenix rising from the ashes. Well, here we are. We have the phoenix as our starting relic, so we're not going to have artifacts. So it makes some of these cards like defense mode and attack mode a little bit worse. But on the plus side, we have mega upgrades. Which I have yet to see and yet to see how bonkers that really is. I'm excited. So we can get 250 gold, rare card, or uh, three random potions. Now I think a random rare is probably pretty good because from what I've seen, a lot of his rares, it's rares, whatever, because this is not really a gender. The rares seem really good, so I might do a rare. And that can give me a jump start on a, a target for upgrades, right? And if it happens to be Clockwork Egg, God forbid, we upgrade that, get three egg relics and then that's just insane because then that can immediately start helping us get mega upgrades so let's go for it siege form now we want to mega upgrade siege form and see how crazy this gets that got me extremely excited wow Yeah, guys, don't talk in the chat, don't be entertaining, don't even ask me questions, and then this will be like a YouTube video. But that's not why you come on Twitch, right? You don't come on Twitch for that experience. But this way, we actually get to cycle our defenses. Who needs those? Am I right? Attack mode, siege mode. I'll tell you what, we're doing crazy damage. Woo! It's like some kind of cooking show. Guys, oh, no, that's stupid. Do five damage. All of your strikes and defense gain two power for uh, this combat. That's kind of cool. Mode shift. Swap your strength and dexterity. Now, this allows me to do what I'm doing. Because we don't have artifacts, I can get a whole bunch of strength with siege form, but then switch it over and get a whole bunch of stuff from dexterity. Wait for mode shift again. Go back and do it again. I mean, that's really, really cool. It's really, really cool. I'm actually kind of curious. Let's see if we get good face. Oh, shit. Upgrade. So we have to upgrade already, right? So that means our first upgrade is to be a mega upgrade. Oh, what do you know? You caught caught. I caught caught better, baby. This is actually kind of weird seeing the contract caught caught, but this is the be this is the best face. I mean, let's be honest. I should have blocked first. Eh. You know, who cares? Okay. So we don't have lethal, unfortunately. So I'm curious, actually. Well, we could have lethal. Mm. I'm curious what the mega upgrade of this is going to be. What does the upgrade even do? Ah, uh, it's just free. Probably gives you more card draw. What are, the, what are the mega upgrades of these things? I'm really curious. We'll see outside of the combat. How about we do this and then draw? That was absolutely stupid. What am I doing? Why did I even think that was a smart play? Am I, am I really that? I'm daft. Why did I even do that? What am I even doing to myself? Oh no! Switch back, please. Wait, after I do this, of course. Okay, there we go. Attack mode, yes. Attack mode. I can check it outside of combat. There we go. Alright, so we're gonna do some mode shifting. The ambulance were cool. Scrap cannon, analyze. It's interesting you know, these cards look really weird all of a sudden. Like, they look like they have a green gradient on top. Like, someone almost like a faint, a uh, faint little, uh, release of bad vomit breath and just kind of like a little nice little gradient over the cards. Can I change that? Uh, it is what it is. No disrespect to the mod makers, by the way. I just, uh, just noticed it. <clears throat> we can exhaust. It's the border. Hmm. You see what I mean? Mm, like, this card in particular has a weird gradient right here. Anyways, analyze next turn, gain. I think this is pretty cool. I wonder what this could be mega upgraded into. I like exhausting. It seems to be that, um... Oh, that's actually pretty good. Let's do power up. Let's do power up. <laughs> no disrespect. 
So we do attack mode and then mode shift and then get more block than we were supposed to get at all. But we can kill this guy instead. And then we can block for three or we can mode shift, but then we don't... See, mode shift needs... Actually, this deserves an upgrade because if you just uh, if this gets upgraded, it becomes free. So I can mode shift and then block. Really good upgrade target. The mask makes you say, Kaka! That's it. That's what the mask does. You see that our strike? Look at the strikes. Uh, Anthony, look at the strikes. You see, well, this is just looks like some kind of hue. I can see this just being a hue thing in Photoshop. Like, I can imagine myself doing Photoshop, messing with the hue, and that, that's, that's the result. Okay. Like this. Mm, that's fine. Gain two strength to lose two dexterity. With mode shift, we don't actually don't mind these cards. But this is really good because this applies with strength and we're going to have a lot of strength. That's actually really good with this deck. Okay, let's see what the Mega Upgrade is going to be. Five strength. Now, can we keep Mega Upgrading this or is it only like a one-time thing? That's crazy. Let's do it. Oh, wow, it's purple. That's beautiful. Can we do it even more? Nah, it's a one-time thing. I'm greedy. Yeah, I want to do it more and more. Ooh. This is about to get a little bit spicy. A little bit naughty. We're about to do some damage. You heard it here first. We can do power up or we can do strike. Actually, I should do this. You know what? Boom. Boom. That's 52 damage. At this end of each turn, retain a random card. It costs one less. Wow, that's so good. That's such a good relic. That has to be rare relic. That's such a good relic. Zapper, when you gain strength with dexterity, deal three damage to an enemy, a random enemy. It loses one strength. That's really good. Because with Siege Farm, we missed this last time. But with Siege Farm, this... Every time I use a card, they lose strength. This is so good. Oh my god. But his boost is so good with Siege Farm as well. The boost is so good with Siege Farm as well. Mm, we'll do Zapper. I think Zapper's going to have more potential plays. Now, I want to see what the upgrade... Well, what's the mega upgrade of this? It does 7 random damage, I'm assuming. I think Mochev is really good, though, because the ability to switch in and out for free can really change. But what's the mega upgrade of this? All strikes and defense gain plus 4 power? Let's do mode shift. Let's see the upgrade of it. Retain... Whoa, you can mode shift whenever you want. Oh, these are insane. Let's make our upgrades are bonkers. Cool, man. I like it. I like it. Shuriken. I like that, too. That works with boost. I didn't get boost, though. Ah, uh, okay. They're trying to send me back. That's fine. That's fine. I deserve that. My deck is getting kind of powerful. So, here we'll just... Got seats form. Wow, I'm getting really lucky. They're definitely more significant. Yes, yes, indeed. We got Zapper. Five strength. Just like that. Oh, this, this pertains to a random card, so I can't choose it. That makes it a little bit less drastic. But either way, we're doing 21 damage. If I had Artifact right now, that's 20 strength. Guys, it's imperative that we have Artifacts. Uh, let's do Defense. Attack Mode. Defend. Strike. Strike. Weaken. I can lose strength. If I do this, I make him lose strength because of the Zapper. So I'm actually taking no damage. Zapper's insane. 
Let's power up. Sweeping laser. Yeah, this deck is officially out of control. One cycle gain to block. Now, I want to know what the upgrade of this is going to be. The mega upgrade. This could be quite interesting. Just gives me block for free, but with negative dexterity, it's actually kind of bad. Make a copy of a non-rare card. And what would that be good with? Uh, I guess with Zapper, right? I can make a copy of Zapper and then just do... Ooh, that might be good with Zapper. But I'd rather do Backup. Uh-oh, now I know about Hazard Proof. Does Moshif keep it? Moshif retain, and the mega upgrade makes it so that you can hold on to it until you're ready to use it. I might just skip here, although with Moshif, this could be pretty good. Who's the, who's the boss? I might just skip here. What is Blur? Blur is, yeah, Blur is, retains block. That's exactly the science skill. I keep getting seeds for him first turn. Is that part of the mega upgrade that I don't realize? It's innate, but doesn't show me. It's a little crazy. You know what's cool as well, though? Never mind. Well, technically, we can do this, right? That's cool. I was going to say something, but it didn't actually work. Ooh, it's Zapper. Attack mode. That's 18 damage. No big deal. 23 damage, no big deal. Let's do that, and then lethal, no big deal. That's insane. Mm. Quick attack is very good, because that works with Zapper, and it's just a nice way to get the Shuriken, but also the Sheets form stuff. When you draw two cards of the same, deal 10 damage. Nah, that's alright. I don't really like that. Let's do quick attack. How did I change the starting Alexis? There are... Okay, so when you play the, um, the, the Constructs, when you get to level 1... When you get to level 1 experience, you have the ability to make this your Sharding Relic. But keep in mind, I actually... I think in order to do that, you have to get the Clockwork Phoenix first, which is... I got this because I upgraded the Egg three times and then played it and got this. So... I think that's part of the pre res equipment. And I lost the run to get this, right? This wasn't just gifted to me. I had to... Destroy a good, perfectly good run to upgrade this card three times and not rest or do anything else, right? So it ended up costing me the run, but now we got this run. What I kind of just like quick attack. Power up, defend, defend. Mode shifts. Nice. It was worth it, 100%. Sweeping laser, man. Sweep laser is nutty. Whoa! Did I did I not just say what we really need to do now is to get the eggs, so then the eggs give us all the upgrades, and from there we can just start mega upgrading everything, right? But one problem with this is what happens when we have two phoenixes? Can I mega upgrade an egg? Can you mega upgrade an egg? We need to find out. We're going meta. The egg brought us this, and now we're going back to the egg to see what the egg could be. Oh, this is really nice. This is going to be with the strength gain? Oh my god, Flak Barrage is a must. You can mega upgrade the egg. Oh my lord. Do not tell me this, my friends. I might just... You need special conditions. It becomes an omelette. Ah. The jokes, the jokes, right, friends? The yokes, 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 yokes. Let's remove the K? Yeah. How did we get the K? Oh, that, that, that event. Will we find the chicken that laid the egg? Let's see. I mean, the bright side is that the clockwork egg is pretty good. It's pretty good, um... As we upgrade, right? Like, it's not a bad upgrade. Zapper. 
Attack, attack, attack. So what's close up we can we can oh we don't have motion upgraded. Hmm. There's seats for him. A little late, my dude. A little late. We could do defense mode and defend. We don't take as much damage. Seems alright. If I do attack mode now though, it actually makes him lose strength so he doesn't do as much damage. Cool. Alright. Let's go for the kill. Attack mode. Quick attack. Power up. Strike. Strike. <laughs> oh my. Ay, ay, ay. Double siege form. Hammer down. Battery core. Battery core is really good. I want to know what the mega upgrade of this is. So the fact that this puts it like this, this cycles and makes another card cheaper. It's just amazing. And then the mega upgrade is probably even more insane. This is really cool though. Doubling your strength and dexterity. Uh, we already have this to complete bonkerness. Now if we can get double mega siege forms, how crazy is our deck? The thing about siege form though is that I learned this the hard way. Hammer down also doubles your negative dexterity, which is not that big of a problem considering we have mode shifts. Now, battery core is actually probably the, the smartest, more disciplined play because this gives me, uh, you know, reduced costs, and I think this will help me with my some of my expensive cards. I am gonna get negative dex though if I do uh, attack mode, which I do. Yeah, but I think I will have energy bonds because, you know, this is about to become a two-cost card when I upgrade this. This is a two-cost card. This is a three-cost card. And if we don't get energy, we're like, I mean, I would like this. Although Hammer Down is potentially nutty, huh? This is potentially crazy. The only problem with this is I don't keep the Siege Form Strength. Now, let me explain. In order for this to become good, I need to have an artifact after the fact of the siege form and then do this. Now if I already have an artifact, then I don't even need this because I'm already retaining 20, 25 strength. Now siege form only gives me strength on that turn for how many cards I play. This is three costs, so what are the likelihood of that I'm gonna play a lot of cards and then get a three cost card, but by the way, it's gonna go back anyways because it's temporary strength. If I got artifacts, it's a different story. I don't have artifacts, therefore we're doing the battery core. Uh, Runic Dome is the energy, but I'm kind of curious to do Astrolab. Because we get upgrades, which helps us get mega upgrades. But we do need energy as well. What's up, Day of Justice? I do want to do Astrolab, but Runic Dome is probably the better play. I need the energy. Okay, we're going against Champ. Well, if we can get some form of artifact, then we're in the clear. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum, bum. We want to prioritize upgrades. We only have three upgrades max. Let's go. That's what it does. Siege form. See, battery core is so cool. How do you not like that? We do defense mode. No, 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 no. We do Mo Shift. No, 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 no. Damn it. And Damn it. What do I do here? Yes. Mo Shift. Nah. Yes. We end up getting more damage anyways. And we got Zapper out. But now I have negative 6 strength. But 6 dexterity. I got 6 dexterity by playing Siege Form Attacks and Mo Shift. That doesn't seem right, but damn it, I love it. Power up. Defense. Clockwork egg. Cool. Alright, now let's go ham, because we have attack mode, attack mode. So now, no, but now I have negative strength, so I lose my, oh. And this keeps coming back. Why are you coming back? So let's do this. 
Uh, let's take a look at what power up's gonna do. All right, we got attack mode, attack mode, attack mode. Now remember, we have Zapper, so he's getting negative strength. Now we've got power up or lethal. We're just doing damage off Zapper, pretty much. Gain nine block. Enemy loses three strength for the rest of the turn. This is super good. This turns into retain. Enemy loses five. So you just use this whenever you're ready. And make them lose 5 strength and gain 10 block. And this is a skill you keep doing. That's that's a great mega upgrade. We're taking it. Oh, you know, the burn's not too bad either, though. It is a fun class. Frozen egg. We got one of the eggs. Ho-ho. Cuckoo. So let's do quick attack. Disrupt. I should do that, because then I can I could have drawn into a defense. I mean into an attack and do an attack. Hmm. Interesting. Swap. Defense. Yes. 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 That was actually stupid. Now I have negative strength. That's not ideal, actually. Oh, but we got Siege Form Zapper, huh? That's really cool. We got Attack Mode, Attack Mode, Quick Attack, Sweeping Laser. Wow, I don't know what it is, but there's something so broken about what's going on right now. So broken. Accumulate, make a copy. So what's the upgrade to this? Make three copies of a non-rare card. Oh my goodness. What what would I use this on? What if I just do that? Wait, what if I just do this on mode shift? Oh, it's a non-rare card. Never mind. Okay, let's just change our minds. Oh, mode shift is common. We do this in mode shift, right? We just do the, uh, shift, shift, shift. We have sheets form out, so we're doing a lot of block. And we're getting a lot of uh, strength. We end up back on the strength. We draw a card during the whole time. This is really cool. We're doing that. Speaking of mode shift... Oh, critical hit. Oh, artifacts. Oh my goodness. I think we just broke the game. Imagine a siege form when I use this. I think I might go insane. This is actually super good, but there's also more mode shifts. Uh, we gotta do it. Alright, that's artifact. We have artifact potion too. Oh, I'm really liking mode shifts. But it's not already upgraded. And of course we're gonna have to try to mega upgrade the egg. We'll take it. Yeah, like, the artifact can be lost by quick attack, right? So that's why it's... The artifact's not that strong. But if we get Siege Form in the first turn, maybe we can get a nice little bit of strength. It, it, like even, But even this is, like, it's still two dexterity. Like, I'm not upset about that. So Zapper is really good because we do. I think they're attacking, so I'm gonna do defense. Now we could do accumulate on. Hmm. Let's do disrupt. Now we can do this, but now if we just do attack up, attack up, we're doing damage. And we're this because the the claw grip. That's really good. Ooh, we do this. Now we can bring back our dexterity and just defend. I like it. Siege form. Hoo hoo hoo, my goodness. Black barrage. Oh, this is so good because we just do fence, attack. Well, it's actually draw two cards. <clears throat> Never mind. Could have been good, but it wasn't. I need energy. 
Badly. I do think accumulate's gonna be really good though on um on the mode shift. Well, if you weren't here before ENT, you probably missed a lot of stuff. Now we need to get mode shift again. Otherwise. We're just at negative strength. Which is technically going to be 19 strength once we mode shift. Oh, but for right, right, for right now, this is not bad because we have like 31 block, right? And we're still doing damage with Zapper. And whatever dexterity I'm gaining, I'm actually gaining strength once mode shift comes to play like this. And now we have 35 damage out of nowhere. It's really good. So this energy is actually really good. I don't know what the mega upgrade is going to be. Street Blazer, we just decided, is really good anyways, though. To all enemies twice. Oh, we gotta take that. Mm, that's silly, silly, silly. So we want to mega upgrade this because we can retain this, right? I think that's going to be the best thing. I think the upgrade for this is really interesting for energy problems. So let's do that first. Oh, but we have to upgrade this, right? Because we want to see if we can mega upgrade this. Damn. Clockwork Egg, always, always cucking me, man. Alright, let's go see if we can Mega Upgrade. Zapper. Oh, I meant to do Zapper first. Whoopsies. How about we do Accumulate on the Quick Attack? Oh, it's for my Draw Pile. Oh, let's do it on uh, Mode Shift. Only because I have Clockwork Phoenix, which allows me to upgrade my contract cards one more time to a mega upgrade. It's a special thing. Siege form. Oh, sweeping laser. You are some some savage man. I'm gonna use artifact pot for this. That's just a shit ton of uh, strength I want to keep. 20 strength, no problem. I mean, it only gets crazier. So I, so I can strike, like, I can strike this guy, right? Mode shift and then disrupt and take no damage anyways. I mean, that's just silly. That's 90 block because of the mode shift. That acts for team because of the claw grip. If I get mode shift again, then we just kill. There it is. And now that's 51 times 2. The fact that Siege Form can switch with mode shift makes not only Siege Form strength gain, but block gain, which is incredible. In fact, I might want to take a blur now. I might want to take a blur. No, it's not a botch relic, so it's a special relic. I had to go... I had to lose a run, pretty much, because I was upgrading this Clockwork Egg to the third... You can upgrade this one card, this card right here, three times. And then when the third upgrade, you play it, something special happens, and then you can use this as your thing. I'll make a YouTube video. You guys can see it on the YouTube video. This retains a random card and makes it less, one less the next turn. Okay, so Zapper. We already realized that Accumulate is uh, good for mode shift, but we can't because it's in our hands. So we'll do... I would say... Sweet Blazer. Quick Attack. Disrupt. Hope he's not attacking. Siege form. Okay, bird face urn. So 
So that card just makes all my defenses better. We are going to make an upgrade to the Clockwork Egg. We're going to see what happens. Quick attack. Oh, that's going to be nutty. Defend. Disrupt. Disrupt. Battery acid. What's the what's the mega upgrade? Gain three energy this turn and the next turn. Wow. What? That is that's so good because it's slime you can just get rid of. Isn't that super good? What? When you enter a rest site, when you enter a rest site, your your starting hand next combat is mega upgrade. What? When you enter a rest site, your starting hand next turn is next combat is mega upgraded until the end of combat. Tell me that's like the what? The flip? Well, we want to upgrade this, right? Because we want to see what happens when we mega upgrade. I want to see the mega upgrade of this. Gain a random relic at the end of combat. Exhaust. What? The clockwork chicken. We found the chicken. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, a skill that gives a relic. Yes. So all these going to be mega upgraded. Scrambled egg! You weren't kidding! I'm not, I'm not trying to take shortcuts, but holy shit. This is hilarious. This is hilarious. Who said scrambled egg? Did you know that, or is that just a joke? Oh my god. So what happened was I mega upgraded it with purple ember, but I'm taking a shortcut, so they scrambled my egg. Well, to be honest, I'm going to be confused anyways. Disrupt. Wow. I use my artifact to prevent confusion. I know, I know, I know. It's true. It's true. It's true. In fact, I can make Zapper twice. Ooh, that's so good. I forgot about how good that is. I got Blur. This defend plus plus is super good. Zapper, zapper, booty, clapper. Uh oh, siege form. Quick attack. Fence mode, because it just says a little switchy switchy. Attack mode. No, let's do. Strike and then defense. Disrupt. Sweet. Power up. Cool. All right, so we're gonna do it the the oh, whoa Omega Cannon. Deal five cost one less for each drink. What? That's cool. So it's basically like a free dump of your energy if you have a lot of strength. That's pretty cool. That's going to be like a 0 for 15. But if you have strength, then it's going to be 0 for 15 plus for your strength. A mega low cannon. <laughs> it mega upgrades your... It mega upgrades your strength and defense? Oh, man. Well, we've decided that mode shift is really good, though. But this is also not bad for the strength that we have. Because if we do this with uh, Sheets Form... We're doing a lot of damage. If it's zero, you have zero strength, and this would be cost, uh... This cost five. I don't think much if it's not good, I know. We already have much if that we can do it, things with. It's fine. Let's skip here, actually. I'm happy with my deck. Ooh. Okay, let's... Toss in the egg. We change our mind. We don't want to do it. No, we're this close. We're this close. 
Are we using quick attack? We are. It's pretty nice. The flak barrage is pretty good. You know, the power up is not that good. It's good, but it's like, it's kind of expensive. Mega Cannon is really good, yes, because it's immediately going to become free with Siege Form and another card. And that's another way to just apply the damage and also make Siege Form go even more. Wait, oh, I didn't enter a rest site. That's right. Okay. Wait, I don't want to do this because if I play this, I permanently remo remove it, right? But I get all three egg relics. So is it important for me to get all three egg relics or do I want to actually mega upgrade this? Like, yes, if I don't mega upgrade, if I mega upgrade, I get a random relic every time I play this. If I play it, I get all egg relics and all, every card I get is upgraded. You guys want to see the mega upgrade? But the mega upgrade just gives me a random common relic, a random relic at the end of during combat. Okay, fine, fine. We'll stick to it. This fight's gonna suck, by the way. Finish relic allows me to mega upgrade cards. Siege form. Quick attack. Attack mode. Defense mode. Sheep laser is going to be lethal. For the most part. If I do energy pot, it is. <laughs> oh, shit. Shield bursts. So this is really good. If we, let's say we do mode shift, we get a whole bunch of block and we get just... I mean, this is unnecessary, though. These are all unnecessary, in my opinion. Siege form, attack mode, suppressive fire. Welcome back, champagne. Zapper, battery acid, which we want to, we want to accumulate as well. On um, mode shift. Oh wait, can we just kill this guy outright? Almost. He has negative three strength because of Zapper. Zapper is so good. Dude, seeds for him. Oh my god. Gain five blur. Gain one vulnerable. Gain nine blur. Gain nine blur. One vulnerable, five blocks. So we gain nine blur. That's basically the whole combat. Just 9 blur. That's not really good for my deck, but that could be cool in the future. Charge shot. What is the mega upgrade of this? Deal 10 plus 10 for each turn this is retained. We like this card. We do like this card. What is the mega of this? Gain 2 energy at start of your turn. Gain... Wait, so I, by playing this, I gain energy. And then I gain energy every turn. This is... Good. If I had a way to dump the energy. Hmm. I think I like this the best. But we should focus on defense a little bit, right? But if we're doing things correctly, we're going to do mode shift and do some crazy stuff. So we want to keep the deck small. I don't mind getting this because it's going to get rid of my artifact though, but it gives me 9 blur, which I don't know if I really want. It's barricade for what, basically, yep. Barricade for 1 is always a good thing, huh? Especially against the champ. Especially against the champ. And if we do a mode shift and then we use this, then we can be kind of broken. Because we can, we can abuse this a little bit. I'm gonna do this because we have mode shift. All right, but we want to finally upgrade, mega upgrade this, right? Clockwork chicken, the golden chicken. Oh, the purple clockwork chicken. We went through so much to get this, and boom! Zapper's mega upgraded because of purple ember. 
When you gain or lose strength, deal five damage to a random enemy and loses one strength to turn. Okay, that's not that good. Five damage is okay. What? Hmm. But this is five strength, five dexterity. That's not bad. Right, let's do this. Let's disrupt. We actually want to get card draw. We need we need bag of prep for this. I should play that first, actually. But that's just five dexterity that I just got. Mega Zapper and Zapper. Wait. Does it apply twice? Let me see. No, it applies once. Suppressive fire. Shield, shield. Oh, this is going to be insane. So first and foremost, though, whoa, we got this as well. What can we accumulate? The mode shift, right? Oh, wait, what if we accumulate the clockwork? Oh, it's non-rare. Never mind. Forget what I said. So let's do attack mode. All right. We can do this. Or we can just do mode shift. Gain dexterity. And block. Just for now. Because that because the, the turn we place each form, we can't do that much. Clockwork chicken. Gain random random wreck at the end of combat. Okay, we'll do it. Cool. Alright, so that's 28 strength. That means that this is gonna be 70 68 damage. Cool. Gotta be careful because he's about to split now, right? So I gotta do a lot. We got attack mode, defense mode, disrupt, shield generator. Um, I like the blur here. Let's do it. Let's do defense mode. Disrupt, defense, shield generator. Now, I want to kill him with siege form, but we just need one good turn because we're not getting our strikes. Because I have negative strength. I need mode shift. That's what I need. Uh, it's time to do mode shift. Dexterity. Alright. Then we switch. We do... Attack mode. Accumulate. Strike. Sweeping laser. That's like lethal, right? Accumulate. Strike. Ah, oh, it's close lethal with no cigar. Close. Doesn't matter because we're gonna kill him anyways. GG. This class is something else. Meltdown. At the start of your turn, deal 20 damage to all enemies and add two burns to your hands. The mega upgrade is at the start of your turn, deal 30 damage to all enemies. This power that you play deals 30 damage to all enemies at the start of your turn. What do you say? Do we do it? Why is the game all fucked up? Come on. Uh, 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 there we go. Okay, so there's that. And there's also battery core again, which we decided is really nice. Which, by the way, we have to see the mega. What is the mega? Oh, we can't find out yet. Yeah, I don't want I don't want the two burns. I like battery core. I, I just like battery core. To me, battery core is just solid. You can no longer smith. Well, that's terrible considering we are mega upgrading. That's <laughs> that's a joke. Then we got Ori calling bell. Well, I think Ori could be fun. Calling bell would be cool if I didn't get three curses. Two or three. Synchronize. When you draw two of the same card in a row, deal 10 damage to all enemies. This is going to be 20 when it's mega upgraded. When you draw two of the same card in a row, so basically you're, that's just, that's nutty as well, man. That's, that's like Meltdown, but even better. That could, that could potentially be 60 damage in a turn. Especially considering 
that we have uh, accumulate. And play a random attack. Oh, wait. This is actually probably a really good mega upgrade because we have Siege Form. So if we finish off with Chain Strike, it, I'm assuming it's going to play three random attacks. And that's going to be a finisher for sure. But I think this is pretty good because the attack and defense do keep uh, cycling, right? I think it's pretty good. I'll take it. Oh, so we saw that we can do mode shifts, right? And when we do mode shifts, we can get um a lot of dexterity. Well, electric armor would change all that and put it into thorns. Ah, you know, food for thought. You know. So what's the power up of this? Gain five power for all your strikes and defense. That's just a five flat upgrade on all your attacks, strikes, and defense. That's not bad. So what do you guys think? Want to do thorns shenanigans, or do we want to do some power up shenanigans? This is all vent steam, and apply one week, two, two week vulnerable. This is going to be discard two random cards, draw two cards. We can skip. These are pretty useless. I mean, this this just play it once and have the thorns for free because it, it does exhaust itself. I think I better happy bolt because the card draw. Eh, I don't know. No, I won't get fifteen strength. I have to play cards for strength. I get some sock synergy. Sock synergy. Snow monkey. I stream on YouTube uh, occasionally. Yeah, I'm checking all the cards. What are you guys talking about? Oh, check all the cards. Oh, yes. Yes. I see what you mean. My bad. Uh, Mo shift again. I really like it. It's already upgraded, and we already saw this is insane. I might just take that for sure. And yeah, we don't like that that much. Backup. Oh, we like this. This is going to be retained, zero cost. You can choose any non character card in your hand and add two copies of it to the top of your drop pile. So this is really, really, really nice. What could we do with that? Mode shift. We could do zapper. We could do um, sweeping laser, battery acid. We can do all, all kinds of things. Synchronize. I mean, this is pretty cool. Overclock. Draw four cards at the start of your turn. Draw two cards. And add a this is crazy. Zero cost, draw four cards, you draw two extra cards a turn. Now this auto proc synchronize, right? Because it creates copies. But you can also do this on synchronize. Now this is really good for Siege Fire. I mean, this seems like the, the most innocuous, but this is going to be four damage, four block. But with Siege Fire and Mode Shift, this is going to be a, a superstar. This is going to be a superstar. Ooh, reserves. We like this. I, I don't know what the Mega is going to be. I'm sure the Mega is probably going to be like 40 or 50 HP. This is kind of interesting. Uh, another short generator for more. Nah. Heavy Bolt. Plus, allows me to choose the discard, draw two cards, and it only costs one. I draw two. I discard two, and it costs one for 19. That's pretty good. But I have to discard first, which maybe it's not too big of a deal. That could work with backup, though. We could do backup and then this. This could be interesting. All right, so let's recap. I like the mode shift. We like the backup. But I do like the boost, like I said, with card draw. I think we probably going to skip here. We don't need the power-up. Electro armor is eh, unnecessary. But we do like the heavy bolt, because when we mega this, it should be pretty nice, right? Although we let go of reserves, that's fine. So one thing is for sure we have to get some mega upgrades, which... I'm hoping we can do now. We got one, two, three, four res. So that's potentially four megas. Let's go for it. Is there any more we can do? One, two, three, 
four. Yeah, we can potentially do... Yeah, four is the most. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Perfect. Okay, let's go. Yeah, the Mega Upgrades are really good. Ooh, we got Siege Form. Synchronize. You know, Mummified Hand would be really good. Battery Acid. Did I just get rid of the artifact? I did. But because of Battery Acid, we could do Defense. But I also want to do Heavy Bolt. And kill this dude. Clockwork Chicken. And then Flak Barrage is... What a turn. What a turn, dude. Another Heavy Bolt, which, by the way, we just decided is pretty crazy. I didn't actually want to click it, but I did. It's okay. Siege Form. Synchronize. We could do Defense Mode. No point, actually. Let's leave that in 5 strength for free, pretty much. Clockwork Chicken. Defense. We're gonna kill this guy right here, actually. I feel bad for this man. Defense was actually fine. Oh, it's too random. Got it. Ooh. Battery acid is so good. GG. Yeah, this is kind of broken and I love it. Ooh, I, li I really like the anchor. Now, Stasis, you exhaust a card. Next time you play this card, you add two Mega Upgraded copies to your hands. This is also really good. So let's look at the Mega Upgrades of this. Exhaust your hand, draw five cards. Exhaust your hand, draw five cards. Okay. Stasis, exhaust a card. Next time you play this, add two Mega up Upgraded copies of that card you exhausted to your hand. The Mega Upgrade is Innate, Retain. Exhaust a card. Next time you play this, add three Mega Upgraded copies of that card to your hands. Wow. And there's also Isolate, which does double damage. Now, if this is going to be... We're doing Stasis. Man. Man, oh man. Let's do, um... Defense. Defense. Mode Shift. Wig Attack. Suppressive Fire. It gives you scrambled egg, probably. Oh, you're saying, what if, I do, what if I do that on the egg? Oh, what if I do it on the egg? Ooh, what if I do stasis on that? Ooh, you're right. No, it's probably going to give me the scrambled egg. Should we try it? Exhaust the clockwork chicken? Let's try it. Next time we should have two mega upgrades. We'll see what happens. Siege form, battery acid. Accumulate. Mode shift. And defense. It's probably definitely gonna scramble it. Yeah. Probably. We'll find out. I think this is pretty cool. Next turn, you just gain energy and draw cards. Like, that's pretty cool, but it, I, I think we're going to kind of tone down some of the cards we're playing. Retain. Deal 12 damage. Hit twice if the enemy does not intend to attack or defend. Now yeah, we're going to skip here. Wait, don't end the fight? I thought status... Was it meant like next chime? Oh, shit. Oh, I, I misunderstood. I thought it meant like, oh, I, I'm sorry. I misunderstood big time. Hmm. Hmm. I misunderstood. I thought it was something different. What if I just duplicate battery acid? Or zapper? Let's 
Synchronize. We'll try it again. Uh, I might not be able to because of synchronize. I misunderstood. We're gonna do this now, and uh, we're gonna do the status thing in a second. More backup. Oh, that's pretty good. I mean, what are we backing up though? I mean, I think we just keep backing up mode shift. That's just to me is really nutty, because there's no downside to mode shift. It actually mode shift is only helping you with siege form because you're just drawing cards and it it's really good and this is the same thing this works really well with mode shift in fact gain dexterity lose strength but then with mode shift it switches and then just gives you block i mean this is really good as well what's the the mega is yeah that's pretty good this is also the free single trigger as well exactly but uh if we're gonna stall for status we don't want that but i i do like this as an upgrade let's do it oh but this is really good with dexterity as well the boss is a wicked one the, the, the deck is getting... The deck is getting kind of fat. Yes, it is. Bag of Prep is really good because we have Purple Ember, right? And uh, thinking ahead can help us with the status stuff. I think Bag of Prep is really good. I think we're moving... Maybe at this point we can remove some strikes. We have Courier, so let's do Bag of Prep. And... I do like this with the um, status shenanigans. Especially if you upgrade this. Artifact does prevent the strength thoughts from shift. Yes, that's what makes it really good if you have artifacts. Damn, we're loading. I knew that was going to happen, dude. You, you tried to sleep and you woke up and played a, po a PoE. So I either remove or I buy thinking ahead, which I think is pretty good. Let's do thinking ahead. I want to rest, but I cannot not do these upgrades, right? Like we, I'm really low in life, but we can't pass up these mega upgrades. Like things like status, which we really want to try, backup, mode shifts. Alonzi, it's, you'll see it on YouTube. I'll put the whole thing on YouTube. There's one in particular that we we really want to do. Like, this is really good. This is extremely good mega. But I need a mega that's going to save my ass. Because I need a rest. Mmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. What's up, Hollow Point? How you doing? All these cards retain when they get up mega. This is really good as a finisher, but we need to stay alive. So let's do... Hmm. No, I'm not gonna go for the rest. It's fine. No, 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 it's fine. I'm not gonna rest. Load shift. I should have rested. Okay. So just by seeing what I saw there with Purple Ember, Clockwork Chicken didn't get affected. So I'm going to go ahead and assume Clockwork Chicken has Omega Upgrade. So I don't think I missed anything. But Synchronize just got upgraded. And Thinking Ahead is a thing right now. So we also have Siege Form that we want to play, right? So Siege Form with Sweeping Laser is going to be potentially really good because we're going to have Sweep Laser, Clockwork Chicken. There's some potential stuff going on. So let's do Strength Pot, Siege Form. 
All right, now we can do thinking ahead. Hey, Cyclones, thanks for the host, man. Appreciate it. Let's, we're going to retain that, so let's... Let's get rid of that, right? Clockwork Chicken. And we just got card draw because of Clockwork Chicken? Oh, we Clockwork Chicken became a scrambled egg, but it was still the chicken. Did you see that? It gave him the scrambled egg effect. So it does, it does mega upgrade to scrambled egg. But it also looked like the chicken. So maybe I don't get the relic. We'll see if we get a, two relics at the end of this. Now, how much is this going to be? This is going to be 34 twice plus 17. Okay. Sorry, 34 plus 17. 51. What compares the egg or the chicken? Well, apparently the chicken, uh, the egg, I don't know. What about this? Drawing two cards, because then we can potentially find, like, mode shifts. If you really want to maximize... The problem with what I just did is that I got rid of my artifacts, so now I'm not keeping the strength. And that's a little unfortunate. Because of that little chicken thing, I lost my artifacts, so now I don't have the same siege form shenanigans. But what I said is I can do Heavy Bolt, I can find Battery Acid, which can make this a, a winning game. If I do this, I get Battery Acid, win the game. But if I don't get Battery Acid, I can always find Mode Shift as well. I think it might be worth it because we also can find Battery Core, so let's just do this. Eh... Feels bad. I, we might be dead. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if we're dead, actually. We might be. Oh, shit! Yay, Alonzo, thanks for the Twitch Prime. I might save some just because of the chicken bug. Yeah, I think I might save some guys because I had a chicken bug that kind of ruined my Siege Form thing, which I did not anticipate to do what it just did. I mean, whatever. I, it's not so much of an issue that I lose the strength of the industry. That's not a big deal. I, um, probably gonna win anyways because of the siege form. I'm just worried if we're gonna die or not. So they usually do, like, sometimes, do they do 17, 13? 15, 15? They never start off with, like, 20, right? I think we're good. I think we're good. I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Strike. Heavy bolt. Mode shift. Okay, cool. Zapper. This is really cool because we can do mode shift, defend, and then go back. Or we can do this. We can do backup on strike, right? So when we mode shift that. Well, the problem if we mode shift, we're still gonna have strength, so it's not that big of a deal. Actually, I want to do this because this ends up giving me the two strikes anyways. Only problem is, it's random. But sweeping laser is still a thing. What if we do strike sweeping laser? I can just do mo- I can just do sweeping laser and then mo shift defend, just to be safe. Just to be safe. I mean, that's the thing. <laughs> Never mind. That's, that's, that's true. So we didn't get... The clock for chicken didn't work. It actually became an egg, so I didn't actually get the relic. I only got one Mori. What is the upgrade of this? Mega. Whoa! This can mega upgrade cards? So that is a power. That is a powerful awakening one, but that mega upgrades cards. Mm, I might take that and that might allow me to rest once. Do we rest now? Just to be safe, maybe? I don't know. I feel like now that we have purple ember, we should be fine. Sucks that I didn't get the, the relic off of this. I'll give one rest. And then we can uh, upgrade the thing. Oh, we still didn't get to do the status, but 
Based on what I just saw, I think it's not going to work. Oh, nice. I just wasted a rest. The game had my back, dude. The game had my back. If only I knew. Damn it. The game had my back. Zapper is so good. When you lose or gain strength, you deal and make it lose one strength. That's so good. But so is this. Oh, wait, no. Crippling Shot is really good. You just get weakened on the boss for 99 turns. But Zapper's so good. Damn it, they're all so good. Yeah, the egg was scrambled 100%. Yeah, because it made me draw the cards. I didn't get uh, the egg relic, so it was scrambled. And it took away the artifact for the confusion. So, yeah, didn't work. Hey, welcome, Marova. Bienvenido. Saludos. Saludos. Something, something, a chile. Let's do Zapper. What? What's the mega of this? Works eight times per turn. Works eight times per turn. Turn. When you play a card, draw a card. That's like on CC top right there. Huh. Huh. Zapper and enhance. Oh, baby. That's sound if you're. See, I hate that because now Clockwork Chicken is going to be bugged. Oh, no. It's actually an egg right now. You're cucking me. You're Ember. You're cucking me. I can't get my relics. It keeps scrambling my eggs. I wanted eggs over easy. Attack mode. Moch. Attack mode. Mode shift. Zapper. Dapper. Now we're going to draw five cards. Cool. Scrambling my eggs. Can't forgive you for this. I know, man. Back up. I mean, I would appreciate to have some defense. We have zappers, so don't we... Make him lose strength and stuff? Oh, I should have known. I would have done quick attack. Oh. Nice. Hazard proof. Oh, what is the mega of this? We need to find out. Do I have time? I do. We need to find out the mega of this. I need to find out the mega of this. Get the gold? Does it matter? What's the mega? Oh my goodness gracious great balls of fire oh my god that's so good it would have been mega anyways i wish i knew that so if we do status we can get three hazard proofs in our deck it's a little necessary but we can also do status on we can retain it so we don't have to use it yet but we could do status on Zapper. No, that's a power. So we're playing this for sure. I think we're playing Zapper. Pretty good. I think we'll play Synchronize. I mean, yeah, it's a power, but... Alright, let's go. Chicken Laser is free. Clockwork Chicken. Mode shift, back up. Okay, we can do status on the mode shift and get three mega upgrades of this. That would be fantastic. Yes, I like that. I also like backup. Only problem is... I have, like, no block this turn. I can also do quick attack and get a whole bunch of dexterity. I could do backup and status and status mode shift and just win the game. Yep. The reason why is because with mode shift, swapping back and forth with the siege form, it's going to be also with zapper. But I can also do status and the quick attack and get dexterity for the artifacts. 
We'll try this. We do backup status. Oh, we can't keep status in the mode shift. Oh, yeah, we could. Yeah, we could. Um, two quick attack. It sucks that we don't have... Any block this turn. Oh. Okay, that's cool. Okay, that's mode shift. So, what if we do it again? Just keep getting more copies of this? What if we do backup again? How crazy can this status get? This status to enhance. Wow. Oh my god. Oh my god. Can you status siege form? Can I status siege form? How crazy would that be? Yeah, I need to make my strength index different. Yep, yep, yep. And we need that. We need the proc zapper. So let's do something. Oh, what if we just do battery as a status? Oh, this is disgusting. Stasis. Status. Status. Stasis. Stasis. Sorry, it's stasis. Ah, it's stasis. Stasis, stasis, stasis. Yeah, I got it. I got it. So, we need we need Siege Form out, though. Yeah, we'll play Siege Form. We should be getting Zapper now. Oh, we have Pendid. Wow. What if I do Enhance and then Sheep Laser? Real fun. I mean, this can get crazy and crazier, but this was really fun. This was really fun. I mean, the whole mega upgrade thing is insane. Like, there's a lot you can do with it.